Hey, welcome to another episode of, uh, what's it called? Oh, yeah, Books That Kill. Um, this is a book I really enjoy. I've read this several times. It's called Sex and Rockets, The Occult World of Jack Parsons. Um, it's, uh, it's, I totally dig this. I, I was really obsessed with the world of Jack Parson, and, uh, he was a, he was a pioneer in, um, rocketry, um, and uh, one of the founding members of JPL. He has a, a crater on the moon named after him, and he was a follower, a follower of Aleister Crowley. And um, just really interesting stuff, um, you know, about Pasadena. I, I used to, I mean, I used to drive by the address where the house used to be, and um, one time I almost bought a house that was on an arroyo that overlooked JPL, and it was a, by a former engineer. It's a really cool little house, but. The ground was eroding, so like within eight feet of the house, it was like almost a 200-foot drop. Um, yeah, I really liked that place, and but I didn't get it. And um, uh, probably best because I think the place probably went off the hill. But um, Jack Parsons is a really interesting character, also um, because he um, was into the occult and also uh, Crowley, and uh, he was friends with uh, Kenneth Anger, I think, and, um, well, of course he was, and uh, also um, L. Ron Hubbard. It's a really great thing, the the, the, the period that those two are together, and uh, it's sort of like the basis of Scientology a little bit. It's really cool. It, it supposedly is being made into a movie, but I think this is the book that they should be based it on. Uh, it's some really great stuff, and as you can see, this is a used copy, very used, um, and it's also Feral Press, which is one of my favorite publishers, and uh, check out anything by Adam Parfrey and Feral Press and Process Media. Anyway, the book is fantastic. It's really cool. If you like Southern California in the 20s, 30s, 40s, the, you know, the um, beginning of rocketry, and, uh, and actually, you know, this is really weird. I used to live in an apartment that was down the street from a company that he had started. I think it was called Aerojet. I think that maybe, uh, I think that was, I think that was it. But they, they learned how to mix, you know, uh, like a rocket propellant with asphalt. And um, I think, you know, it was so cool because that, that building, well, I don't know if it's still there now, but it was at the time and it still had uh, the painting on the side of the building with the name. And, uh, they used to attach rockets on on on, on planes, so that it would it would assist um, these uh, jets off off um, short runways, emergency runways, that kind of thing. And so you know you, they, they would take off, and the uh, the rockets would just sort of drop off into the field. But it's incredible stuff, and I'm obsessed with rocketry and uh, and that time period. So please. Check this out. It, it's it's a wild. It's a wild read. Uh, it's sort of also the beginning of sort of you know it's bohemian and it's all sort of uh, um, you know um, I don't know if you I don't know if you heard that my stomach just growled. It sounded like a rocket. Anyway, um, I'm not even going to edit that out. I don't give a shit. I'm just going to play it. So, um, but it's sort of the bohemian beginning not quite of the hippies but it's a really cool thing he sort of had uh, he had a big mansion that eventually blew up and I think that might have been there's a conspiracy theories that he might have uh, uh, been killed but he had this giant mansion um, over on I think it was Orange Boulevard or Orange Avenue over in Old Pasadena big huge mansion lots of rooms and he rented them out to uh, different people if you if you love the um, if you love the work of uh, Curtis uh, Curtis Harrington, there's a, a movie called um, Night Tide with Dennis Hopper. And in the film, there's this woman named Marjorie. Um, and I, oh, No, Cameron. What am I trying to say? Her name's Cameron. But anyway, she sort of is in this book. I mean, it's just crazy stuff. And true stuff. And this true stuff is crazy. So check this book out. And, and there you go. I know I haven't done these in a while, but I just wanted to get back into the sewing of things. And there you go another episode of Books That Kill.